Hey guys, Shane here. Um, today I'm going to do a little uh, little update on Minergate. Um, I did a video on it, um, I think about a week ago now. I did a comparison with them. It was actually a comparison with Hashflare and Miner Farm, and then I discovered this one sh that day earlier, so I briefly went over it. So, what I did lab, maybe two days ago, I decided to get 500 gigahash worth of uh, mining power. Here's the contract. Started yesterday. Um, I did it just to get my feet wet to see how this works as compared to a uh, hash flare. So as you can see, um, I've already made a whopping roughly 37 cents with a maintenance fee of 16 cents a day. So if we pull out the calculator, we got 0.36, I'm telling you I'm terrible with it, 0.3695, that's right, divided by 0.165. I'm telling you, dude, I am terrible with this freaking thing. 369 divided by 0.165. What am I doing wrong, guys? That's what I'm doing wrong. I'm dividing the wrong one. Alright, 0.165. You would never know I went through Calc 2. 0.3695. So the fees right now are 45% which is pretty much right on par with what Hashflare is. But uh, Hashflare right now, they do have a, it's it's a dollar eighty right now for 10 giga hash. Uh, they do have a sale going on right now, so I think it's a dollar sixty six a giga hash. So even still here at Minergate, if you wanted to purchase, you can buy a minimum of 20 giga hash for point. Let's just copy this right here and I'll show you how much it is. We'll go over to here. So it's $2.89. We will divide that by 2. 2.89 divided by 2 gives us about $1.45 per 10 giga hash. So that's. 21 cents cheaper per 10 giga hash than hash flare with the same fees roughly um, also I learned uh, about minor gate through the guys that he commented on one of my videos Erno Mafia was his name um, I had been trying to find out how long these contracts were and he commented in the video that they were lifetime, and I had also talked to somebody in the chat feature right here, and they told me as well. So that's two different parties told me that they're lifetime contracts, which is better than Hashflare, which is only one year. And two, uh, again, Erno Mafia is his name, um, told me that the payouts are 0 .0001. That's the minimum payout amount. Of Bitcoin. So if we go over to here, so I would have to make a dollar fifteen to get my first payout to wherever I wanted it to go. You know, probably Coinbase or something like that. But as of right now, you can't, you know, withdraw any money or any Bitcoin to anything other than free wallet right now due to some kind of uh, technical maintenance, whatever that means. So I went over to free wallet today, which is right here, and I downloaded their multi-wallet. If you scroll down right here, I downloaded this. It's on my phone. I got that all set up, so that's ready to go. So once I start getting enough, I'm not going to, you know, withdraw $1.15, you know, every other day or whatever it is, every couple days. But I'll wait till it builds up a little bit, $20, $30, and then I'll withdraw it to that free wallet. And then I'll see what the fees are from there to get it to my Coinbase account. 
which I will uh, let everyone know obviously in a subsequent video but so far I mean it's cheaper than hash flare it's about the same maintenance fees it's a lifetime contract and uh, it's a much lower payout threshold than hash flare which I think hash flare is like 0 .005 if I'm not mistaken let me look that up real quick it was a couple hundred dollars let me see what that was if I remember it right. No. It was actually 0 0.05 Bitcoin. Yeah, that seems about right. It's the last time I checked. Could have changed. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, I knew it was quite a few hundred dollars minimum um, just to get cashed out, which which is a lot. I mean, I think I think I'm up to about 80 or 90 dollars in hash layer right now but anyways guys this is what I did got my feet wet here I'm gonna let it run for a little while I mean it's a lifetime contract I'm gonna see how it goes um, I'll definitely do a video showing a withdrawal and to make sure that goes through okay and everything and uh, I'll definitely let everyone know in the future on that um, if you go over to Mining Pool Hub, let me log in real quick. That should be right. All right, come on. I'm still mining Ethereum, but I did notice last night. Come on, log in. Let me go to Simple Mining 2. Come on. Okay, so here's Ethereum. I'm still mining that. So we'll just, I guess we'll do a quick update while I'm here. Um, I cashed out 250 Verge over the weekend, and right now I have. 65 sitting in there so total sitting on the exchange right now I had 700 now I had a thousand twenty two verge plus this if I'm not mistaken so let's go one zero I know what it was hold on a sec guys one four eight seven minus four ninety nine. The minus four ninety nine, in case you're wondering, is what I already had on my exchange where I hold the verge, so I always minus that out. So that's nine hundred and eighty eight coins I have mined already, sitting on an exchange plus the sixty five here. It's a thousand fifty three. So if we head over to coin market cap let's see what Verge is doing right now we are running slow here all right here's Verge 0 0.055 so we can times 0 0.0556 $58.54 right now where the verge. A little over a thousand coins. Um, last night I was fooling around with the overclocks on my cards because it had been running for like just about a week um, without any issues. So I decided to go in and mess around with the um, overclocks. And so far, for the past 15 hours, 25 minutes, it's been clean. Before I had 56.5 uh, mega hash, and now I'm up to 60.7 mega hash. So that's just over 4 mega hash. My 560s went up from 13.5 to 14.8, as you can see there. And my 570 went from 29.5 to almost 31. 
I'll show you those overclocks real quick. All I did was up the memory. Uh, the 570 went from 2100 to 2200 and the 560s I went from 2000 to 2200 and it gave me an extra roughly just over four mega hash. So, so far it's holding steady and I'm happy with that. It's pretty cool. So let's go over here. Let's go back to Ethereum dashboard and see what the 24 hour average is. There we go right there. Let's copy that. See what that Ethereum is. It has gone down a little bit. I'm guessing the difficulty on Ethereum has gone up. $3.73. So let's go here. 3.73 divided by 2 equals, it's going to be $1.86 now. 1.86. So that's gone down. Then we will divide this by two, 93 cents. Dot nine three, enter, dot nine three, enter. So we've gone down a bit. We're down to a total net profit of $2.96 a day or 88.80 a month. Um, still on SMOS. I did cash out, what was it I said? 250 coins plus the 65 I have on the exchange now. So let's see what that is, 250 plus 65, that's up to 315 Verge Coins so far this week, which is good. Um, one last thing before I go, I did get the parts in for my other rig. Only problem is that um, the RAM I had was like an old two gig stick of RAM from like a 10 year old motherboard it didn't line up right so I had to order another uh, stick of uh, RAM 4 gig and I also ordered a um, CPU fan because with this new setup I'm going to be mining with the GPU and CPU and I didn't have a CPU fan so wanted to make sure I kept the CPU cool uh, those should be in today they were only one day delivery through Amazon um, I'll leave a link down in the description if you all want to check those out. It wasn't, wasn't too expensive. Um, so those should be in tonight. I've already mounted the new motherboard on uh, my wood. I'm just using a wood plank. And I'll probably have a video on that tomorrow. I'll have it all set up tonight more than likely. And I'm going to be mining nice hash with that. So if you see my little uh, spreadsheet here, I'm going to be mining... Here it is right here, nice hash. And just converting that to Bitcoin. Well, it already pays out in Bitcoin, you know what I mean. All right, guys, um, I guess that's it for today. My little update on my rig and my overview of Minergate. I'll leave a link in the description if you all wanna go check out Minergate yourself. It looks like it's pretty legit. This little chat area over here is always active. There's always people in there talking about this and that and what's going on. You can ask them questions. They seem, people seem pretty cool in there. Um, so far, so good with Minergate. Like I said, it's only been a couple days, but we'll see. Uh, it is cheaper than Hasflare and does have lifetime contracts, guys. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go check it out yourself. Um, if you're new to the channel, it's the first time watching today, I thank you for stopping by. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon in the bottom right. You'll be notified of uh, my next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will definitely get back to you. And I guess that's it today, guys. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all tomorrow in the next video. Take care, guys.